guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and today we're going to talk about switching from Verizon to T-Mobile, which I did about a year ago. Um, I didn't want to talk about it super upfront, just because I wanted to give T-Mobile a fair shot, and, you know, kind of base it off of a while of experience of having their service. Um, so Verizon, as we all know, uses a lot of tactics of, hey, we're number one, we're number one for a reason, everyone else's network sucks, look at all these marbles, a oh, big amount of marbles is us, the other ones are everyone else because they're terrible. Um, so out of a year of having T-Mobile, how do they hold up against Verizon, the top dog, the big guy? Um, really well. Actually, in a lot of situations, they outdo what Verizon's able to do. Um, so, Verizon doesn't have an unlimited plan, and when I signed up with T-Mobile, obviously I got an unlimited plan. I was paying more for 10 gigs of data per month than I was for this unlimited plan. And this unlimited plan also comes with 8 gigs of hotspot which is a pretty good trade-off right there, especially with it being cheaper. Um, there are four people on our plan, um, and my wife also has unlimited as well. Uh, it cut our plan by about $100, a little more, probably a little over $100. And that's also with us paying monthly for four phones, which I wasn't doing with Verizon. Um, so that's that's a pretty pretty deep price cut right there. Uh, I went with the LG G4, I thought about switching to the G5, but there just weren't enough reasons to make me switch over just yet. The G5 is a very nice phone, I'm not saying that it isn't, I do like the G5, it's just not enough to make me upgrade just yet. The V20 might be, I might upgrade to the V20, that is something I'm contemplating. I do love HTC phones, which is what I had with Verizon. Um, but the 10's camera doesn't hold up to LG's. We're not here to talk about the phones though, we're here to talk about the service. So, when I say that in a lot of categories T-Mobile service actually outdoes Verizon, if I were to run a speed test on my Verizon phone and then run one on my T-Mobile phone, the T-Mobile phone would have ran circles around Verizon. Uh, T-Mobile also allow you to keep your Verizon phone and use it on their network as long as it's able to be switched over. Um, they had a lot of issues trying to switch my HTC M8 over, so I just went ahead and upgraded my phone. Uh, the M8, you know, was kind of lackluster too in certain areas. I loved the design of it, just the camera was mediocre at best. Um, the speed test though, man, so Verizon I would normally get like 20 megs up on a good day, 16 on a bad day. With T-Mobile, I average around 40 megabits per second on my download. On my upload, I average about 15. So my T-Mobile data versus my Verizon anywhere from 16 to 20, I would normally have about eight upload versus my 16 to 20 download, which isn't bad, but not when I'm getting this and I can use this as a hotspot and connect my kids tablets or connect my laptop and upload a video on the go or do several other things at a much cheaper price than what I was paying with Verizon. Um, I was with Verizon for, well my family was with Verizon for a little over 18 years. Uh, they didn't really care that I was leaving either, they didn't even want to make an offer or nothing. It was just, bye. Um, which, with this mindset and with this day and age and time, how everything is starting to become almost the same nationwide coverage, I have not noticed any issues where I can't get a signal with T-Mobile where I couldn't with Verizon. Um, that hasn't happened yet. Um, I did have one day where they had a 4G outage out of a whole year, one day. Um, but yeah, hundred dollars a month cheaper. I will take that one day outage and I will take my faster internet speeds and I will thoroughly enjoy them. So don't let Verizon sucker you into thinking that their network is just superior to everyone else's. It's not. There's actually aging faster than everyone else's because they took off and blew up faster and blew up all these different towers really quickly. Whereas 
T-Mobile didn't expand that quick. A lot of T-Mobile's towers that are going up now are all based off of newer technology, whereas Verizon's isn't. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see how that evolves in the long run. And I am curious to see how CDMA for Verizon and Sprint evolves versus the GSM that T-Mobile and AT&T use, um, which AT&T actually just recently got overthrown, I believe, by T-Mobile as the number two wireless carrier. I know that they were gaining on them really quickly and they'd overthrown Sprint as the number three. So I, I definitely like T-Mobile. I definitely like the features they're building in. I like the binge on feature. So if I didn't have unlimited data, I could watch all of my Netflix or stream all of my music. I would just have to do my Netflix in 480p resolution and it doesn't count against you. Pokemon Go, that's free for the first year. Does it count against your data? So I, there's a lot of really cool features and a lot of really cool ways that T-Mobile is trying to step it up to make people want to switch to them. Now let's just hope that T-Mobile never does what Verizon does and decides to blow up and become supremely overpriced. Um, so I've also convinced another one of my friends that works with me to switch over to T-Mobile as well and he has absolutely loved it. He says he has better coverage than what he had with Verizon and he lives out in the country area um, in Ohio. So it's, it's really interesting to see how afraid I was at first to switch from Verizon with the fear of I'm not going to have service. I'm not going to be able to make a call. I'm not going to be able to get a hold of anyone. I'm going to be stuck with this terrible service. The last time I switched, Nextel was still around, and that's who I switched to, and it was a nightmare. But T-Mobile has made this relatively painless and relatively enjoyable. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not bottlenecked by, oh, Verizon has to run all their stuff to do all the updates and make sure that that version of Android is perfect for what Verizon wants to come over onto your phone. Um, I have my updates for my G4 before Verizon customers ever even get them. Probably a good month and a half to two months before. Um, it's a very pleasant experience. It's not unbearable to call T-Mobile. They also have T-Mobile Tuesdays. You get free stuff on Tuesdays just for being a customer. This Tuesday, I want a free t-shirt. Yeah, send me a free t-shirt. It's not a huge deal, but it's something. What did Verizon ever give you? Oh points to buy coupons. That's cool and all. I would rather have something free. Um, I've gotten movie tickets, free Frosties from Wendy's. It's, it's an enjoyable service. And as I said, I've been with them for a year now. I waited a year because I didn't want to jump into doing this review and give T-Mobile an unfair chance against Verizon. So I have 18 years of Verizon versus one year of T-Mobile. And I will tell you with the cheaper price rate, I would take the one year of T-Mobile any day over the 18 years of Verizon. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I would go in see how their coverage is in your area, ask associate if you can see how many bars they have. Maybe they'll even run a speed test for you if they're feeling nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure that most people will probably have a decently pleasant experience, especially with the wireless nationwide coverage is pretty much the same between all carriers now. So, But let me know down below if you've switched to T-Mobile and how your experience is going so far. Just so anyone who does watch this video who might have any questions can see, or if you have any questions for me about switching from Verizon to T-Mobile or any questions about my experience with T-Mobile or anything like that, feel free to let me know. Um, again, you can do so in the comments down below. I also appreciate all likes and subscriptions, and I will answer pretty much any comment you leave down below. So, thanks guys, it was enjoyable to do this video and kind of go over what was going on just because this was something that I was very concerned about when I switched. Enjoy!